Hello everyone, Classic Gamer here. And welcome to my new Let's Play Epic Battle Fantasy 4. Now, uh, you could say, why I start another Let's Play? Because, because you already have another two, and the third one isn't started. Of course, that's true, but uh, I really want to start recording this game because I already wanted and uh, Trackmania I in Trackmania I got the point where it's harder to progress or it's more need more time to unlock more uh, tracks so in the meantime I will play this game uh, I said that in uh, Enigma I only uh, upload once in a while so not uh, continuous because it could get uh, boring uh, Torchlight 2 will be uploaded regularly and basically this game also at least I try my I try my best to fit uh, once in a while this uh, this episode too. So my upload schedule, let's call that, uh, will be twice a week, one torchlight two and one Apple Battle Fantasy 4 episode and uh, might be a uh, Trackmania or Enigma or other I don't know in the, for the future so basically why uh, I like this game because it's fun, it's humorous. I only finished in the I only finished in Flash, so it's uh, almost new to me because this uh, this guy Matt Rozak or uh, his name is Kupo. Uh, add the additional content which I didn't try yet and uh, also the Steam has some uh, exclusive content just like in uh, Congregate Premium if you buy that so basically a lot of new stuff and I'm also curious which uh, opponents and uh, which enemies we encounter I mean the new ones but also this game is pretty fun I like the all the series basically played from the first one then play the second one and I found the third one which I love loved uh, very much I might do it after the four or I might start I don't know I think I played this because it's newer if you haven't played the third one uh, be prepared there will be spoilers so uh, before you watch this uh, let LP uh, I think you should play the third one or watch some videos in it because 
there is a little spurs, but uh, you could enjoy nevertheless, so that's not really a big problem. So let's start a new game. And as we started, there is the beginning. Previously, in Epic Battle Fantasy 3, the Asian demon Akron was defeated by three young adventurers and their pet cat. Yes, Len, Natalie, Lance, and uh, Matt, I think, and no less, of course. Matt the warrior, Natalie the magician, and Lance the gunman had saved the world and become living legends. And I, I'm not realizing that the name was there all the time and try to think uh, the names of these characters, the uh, adventures. That was funny. Okay, let's move on. Afterwards, the heroes pillaged towns for a living because they could get away with it. Of course. <laughs> they saved the world from certain destruction, so it may be argued that they earned the right to everything within it. This behavior quickly made them many enemies. <laughs> I found it funny. Sorry. <laughs> so basically, they they are free to pillage every every town because they save the world, basically. <laughs> okay, let's move on. Fast forward today. A secret jewel was just stolen from the village of Greenwood. Local legend says that terrible things will happen if this jewel falls into the wrong hands. Anna, a young ranger and a resident of Greenwood, was very upset by this news. And this is our new character for this game. Anna quickly prepares to chase down the infamous trio who were spotted nearby and who she suspects must have taken the jewel. And so on, epic ad new adventure begins. Yay! So, currently we only control Anna. Super important tip. You can change the controls, difficulty level and graphic quality, sound volume, and other stuff down here. Okay. Let's change our sound a little to lower, not too low. Uh, I think we will be good are we controlling with the mouse because it's much much more uh, much more handful as you can find this can be fine okay got okay everything seems in the place so what else time do we have Kiwi Sherry and Muffin. Oh, Sherry. Okay, that's new. For us, at least. Uh, and the permanent boots. The box. Craft items, the items, old boots. All the parts to go outside. Yay! Okay, and. Uh, Upon these holy stamps rest the jewel of Greenwood, our most beloved treasure. 
over blesses our village and protects us from harm. Do not steal. Eventually, some uh, someone stole it and didn't read the this uh, stamp. So this warning, but basically we need 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 to chase down the. Chase down the thieves who stole the jewel, and this is a slime bunny. If you play the third game, you might be familiar with it. And this is the welcome to the version. Grab onto the slime cat to get out of here. Exploring new areas, we unlock more slime cats. Basically, that's about it. As you could see, we have the first area, the green, the mushroomish eyes, another, another. There are a lot of areas, and this is the exclusive area. Let's just check it out. Better Mountain. Okay. We need a hammer for that. Let's talk to this smiling person. I think I wandered somewhere a student had. I better get back to the main story. They are actually useless. <laughs> hmm, what a strange place. It's not on my map. It doesn't look like it's part of the main story. It's a bonus area. <laughs> and Anna realizes pretty, pretty much. <clears throat> we can't uh, explore further because we need the uh, axe to go through them. Enemies in this area will always be at the same level as your party and they will not give any experience, gold or ability points when defeated. However, any treasure found in this area can be used normal. There's a bunch of unique skills and equips that can only be found here. Me. Welcome to the Better Mountain, an area devoted to super challenging battles and puzzles. You will be able to find harder versions of boss bosses, the legions, of force at once. More parts of Better Mountain are unlocked as you progress through the main game. Okay, basically we collect these items uh, to to get the treasures or to go through the mirrors. and we need a hammer for that and we need a axe for that I think uh, this we get uh, soon enough but this we take a while well, I guess okay, let's go back we can do much there. So we are back to the Greenwood. Let's talk to these fellows. Click around the world and interact with stuff, but I guess you already figured that out. You can also go into the options and switch to cardboard controls. Then you can use ASD or AutoCast to move and, and the spacebar to interact with stuff. Okay, I think I uh, stick with the mouse because it's much comfortable. Someone finally stole the green jar, huh? Always knew that keeping it such an obvious place was a bad idea. You need to get it back though, or something terrible could happen. Me too. I will have it back here in no time. Uh, this triangle 
The creature has protected our village for generations. How can we survive without it? A perilous force will spread over this land and destroy our way of life. Calm down. I think we are overreacting a bit. I hope the voice acting uh, is good because I tried. I'm not really great about great, but uh, I try to be as funny as possible. Uh, let's see the map. Okay, we only explore this. Uh, sorry about the this first episode. This we've been mostly exploring things because just like in uh, classic RPG or everything else. We looked around and find any treasure before going out to the main area where we need to park. Pool of feeling. Keep the pool of feeling clean, please. Betting is strictly forbidden. Yes, do not feed the slide bunnies. <laughs> okay. The only way I will get the treasure chest is if I walk on these lily pads, but I am too hot. Yes, and he hints that we need another item for it to walk on the lily pads. <clears throat> and our first guest, the Tony Carmella. Okay. Slime bunnies are very energetic creatures. Wearing their ears can boost your weight, but hunting them is illegal now. I do have a spare pair lying around though. <laughs> okay. It's a great deal. And there is another key. Slime bunnies are magical creatures who divide their souls to those with poor hearts. In the wild, they can be found in ponds and rivers, but they can be quite hard to spot. They also kept in buckets of water around the town for good luck. Yeah, yeah, I know. I got one at my house. The fully restore your HP and MP. Hmm. Let's go down further. And the music changes because there is another side area and we could uh, molest the these animals. Road closed. The path through the graveyard has claimed too many souls. For your own safety, we suggest traveling to Ashwood Forest instead. Does not look very promising, so these these guy looks crazy. Okay. Okay. Mm, let's go left to the left. And our first puzzle. Yay, there will be some puzzles. Of course. No trespassing. I put these blocks here to keep you out. You will never get past them. Try me. Andy. See those stone blocks over there? There. You can push this around. Oh man, maybe shouldn't have to do that kind of work. But I think I will manage. Of course you are my evil man. And this is an easy and what? Because it's so fun. Let's with the chicken. <laughs> okay. Of course, open the treasure. Okay. Be right back. 
I got to find the hammer. These rocks are heavy to move. Wait, these rocks are too heavy to move. Honestly. So, we need the axe to that. And our first badge. Let's equip it. You know? It gives gives her uh, ten more mana, and there are some. Okay, this is great for for her now. Let's go up. And this is the slime bunny for a pool of feeling. Uh, I will talk about. And this is her home. Oh, coffee! Great. I think we need that. And you see that hidden treasure. Point. Huh? I think I saw something in that bunch of mushrooms over there. Yeah, yeah. But I saw it earlier. And basically we got some healing items, so that's why we need to explore the area. Anna's house. Please water my plants if I'm away for too long, okay? Thanks. Okay. And you are Sarah. Hey Anna. What's up? You are alone today? It's fine and done. My use I brought time between. I trained for two years. She still couldn't defend the slime. I need to find someone who can protect me in case anything bad happens. You know. <coughs> mm. I think we, we could learn some answer if you really wanted to, but you are just too lazy. Exactly! I don't trust myself to do anything dangerous. <laughs> Ah, that's a good one. And... These bushes haven't been clean in a long time. Looks like I will need the axe to cut them down. Exactly. That's what I'm talking about. Sorry? <coughs> oh. Oh. And there is the weapon shop. Wow, those swords are so overrated. <laughs> and we could buy the shop some items we don't need yet. Hmm. Let's buy. Uh, We buy it later. This one shop. We say high end weapons and armor for all over the world. This sign is not here for testing your new weapons. Please don't do that. <laughs> okay. And let's see if we can go. Looks like there's some stuff back there. Let's see if we can if I can see. Squeeze through this gap. You can. Ugly bones. They taste alright, but they will make you sick. Basically, just like a bird food or something like that. And the start boosts. Apparently, increase HP by 2%. Okay.
and I like very much this this song. Listen to it, uh, it uh. So nice, I could uh, possibly listening and um, almost a uh, half hour no joke seriously speckled egg speckled egg kidnapped from his family I would say <laughs> yeah you down here okay let's move forward Another tile like this. Cactus. Do you have some cactus on me? I am a bit obsessed with it. Okay. Another quest. Very far away with an extraordinary chain. Extent. Mm -hmm. Very far. Cactus, spiky plant that holds a lot of water. Cactus. <clears throat> and Lemsy. He needs high water. Probably the biggest scam before bottle of water. <laughs> you need a lot of people looking for holy water. But you should give it to me if you find any. I will teach you how to use a paper talisman. Okay. And if you complete this quest, you get paper talisman. Skill. Okay. Don't have thing it there. And there is a bun here around this. Oh. That feels cool. Massage me more behind the ears too. Ah, good morning. <laughs> it's not morning anymore. You should stop sleeping and get the slum off your head. Ugh, that doesn't sound so bad. Sounds like a really trend. The slum by the slum. <laughs> Why are you crying about it? <laughs> Same. Oh man, I'm so tired. Alright, I was told to tell you to go east to Ash. There is not much else to do yet. Okay. Yay, and the uh, sparky thing. Dirt board. Chunk of very high quality dirt. Okay. Mm, you can't do anything there. And we explore these. Let's go around here. Okay. The art food shop seems to, to be getting a lot of customers with that. <coughs> Julie. Eating food is good for your head, especially if you're injured. If you plan on fighting monsters, you should take some snack with you. Thanks for a tip, Julie. But I think I already figured out the fact that people need to eat. You can also recover your half HP and MP by simply waiting around, but that's a bit slower. It doesn't cost you anything though, so it's great with no rights. And there is some chocolate corner. Not sure which end you eat first. <laughs> and some bacon. Wait. Oh my god. It's bacon. <laughs> and beef. They want to increase the fast by 2%. Another quest. Which requires seed. 
find C to fancy platinum. Wool. Again, I guess you could make a sweeter out of this. And three paper talisman. Paper talisman. Magical charm means ward of evil spirits. Okay. I got a favor to ask you. I'm asking a new dress for myself, but I altered materials. She helped me out and can give you my old one. Okay. What's this? Hmm. I shouldn't leave me with you out here. If we attack dogs and bears and other animals. Hmm. Hey, Emma, I hear you got quite a quest on your hands. Keep a lookout for real food items like pizza or oranges, as there is a very limited supply of them. And you should save them for important letters. Yeah, obviously. There are actually no interesting in food items like hair or beef that can raise my stocks permanently. I'll be eating those as soon as I find them. I don't want to feed you. If you feed, if you eat too much, you will become fat. Food is specialize in high color meals for those with active lifestyles. <laughs> hmm. Make sure to stock up on supplies before heading out into the environment. I think we have uh, enough items. Hmm. Not sure if I want to spend any gold. And there's a pizza. But we can get it yet. That's a shame. We could try, but very much. Uh, I don't know if I want to buy. I think I'll buy the sherry just for the safety and some garlic too. Just for it. I think I almost explored everything. Sorry for this episode, it's more exploring, but it's a crucial part. Go to Ashwood Forest. Your quest starts here. Be prepared for combat. Not yet, but soon enough. Oh, another test. And this is important because they could give you very well items if you complete the test, so make sure to take them. Glass. You need two of those. It's solid yet crystal clear. Magma sample. A butter sample of molten earth. Liquid ice. A rare form of ice only found in warm beings. Okay. I am an alchemist by profession, but I am also a fan of archery. I will lend you a cool bow if you bring me some crafty materials. Okay. <clears throat> Three. An elemental resistance of more than 100% means that the target will absorb that element. But keep in mind that most attacks demand is part of elemental and part non elemental. So the resistance do not apply to all of the damage. Mm -hmm. Sounds seems complicated. What about resistant to status effects? The negative resistance means that status effect is more likely to work, and the positive resistance means it's less likely. 100% resistance to status effect means it will never work. Uh, yes, these these are the status resistance and these are the effects that boom keys instantly when the times run out. 
course, defense, the defense and magic defense decreases every time. Holy damage taken is increased by 50%. Weak attack and magic attack decreases every turn. Dark damage taken is increased by 50%. But thunder and ice damage taken is increased by 50%. Fire damage is reduced by 50%. Siphon, Siphon, Alvin. Cannot use any speeds that require me and to one opponent. Stagger. Next hit taken will be physical hit. Lasts for one turn. And that is the burn, stun, freeze, tired, poison, and despair. Despair is cancers, all buffs and positive status effects. Poison will take poison every turn. Tired, evade, and accuracy because of every turn, please cannot take turn into attack or heal. Next to these doubles damage. And stun cannot take a turn, earth damage taken is increased by 50%. And burn will take fire damage every turn, effect will remove by water or ice damage. And these are the elements fire, tender, ice, earth, poison, dark. Holy water, wind, and bomb. HP, magic points, attack, magic attack, defense, magic defense, accuracy, and the. Okay. I thought that uh, I will go through that, and uh, next time we won't have to. And there's another, Mary. All stat bonuses are relative to your current stats. Equipment modifies your stat by percentage as do level ups, buffs, and stat boosting items. Here, yeah. that means stats grow exponentially. Exponentially. Whatever that means. <laughs> <laughs> Mix item shop. We buy and sell crafty materials and randomly. Check us out. Yeah. <laughs> Won't hurt to carry around the spare pair. Orange juice. Those real items that one of them talk about. Puts an ally's maximum HP. Very rare. It will be helpful. And these are the mixed items. We don't. Sorry, we don't need anything. Yeah. Okay. I think this is the last area we have. Yeah. I see. People are still doing that as usual. Okay. Right. Can the pictures you pick up change in between us if they can be good for you? You probably need one to feel the entire human back, the two for eliminating the competitors. So, I have to work out why Master Plan fails from 24 and 31. I guess that kind of makes sense. There are usually some spare items lying around here. I should check those specks of fire. Good eye. Uh, yeah. Mm, she means that. Yeah, ugly babies. And there. Geshna and Bugby. Okay. Everything seems to be in order around here. Looks like the artists have finished all of their shows already. Okay. I think about it. It is the gods. Me and Erica work together to make those wooden idols you see jumping around. I chop the wood. And she brings it to life with her magic. 
you can make golems out pretty much any material but we have got a lot of wood here so that's why we use I heard of ivies made from clay, ice, obsidian and even rare gems okay and with that I'm gonna end the episode here because the next area we do the fighting once again I apologize for uh, not getting any combat and uh, exploring the but I need to explore the areas because as you could see uh, there are loots around and we need to be collected we need to be need to collect because that's it about this game 4 but in the next episode we will uh, fight for sure but I want to wanted to get the tutorial most tutorial stuff out so we could uh, focus on the combat and the story itself so until next time have a great day